Hi, my name's Phil Rutt and I work for BK Technology. Today we're going to show you how to save a waveform onto our waveform library. So, what do you need to do with this? First of all, you need a PC or a laptop, an internet connection, and the PicoScope automotive software installed, and an automotive scope plugged into the laptop. So, here we have a waveform image from a secondary ignition coil on plug probe from a smart car. So I'm going to show you how to save it. So first of all, we need to go on to file, waveform browser. Now, if we haven't actually been on to here before and signed up for our forum group, what we need to do is to go to this link here and to sign on to our forum page. So what we have, let's make the page slightly bigger. So let's just get rid of this help menu. So Pico registration and um, please read the registration terms and conditions and if you agree to them push the agree button and then you will put in a username and a password and push the OK button and then get a return email confirming that you are now a forum user member and that you can then log on to the Pico forum or the waveform library. So remember that you have to have a internet connection and that if you don't have a good connection you will probably not see um, the menu of the library waveform browser appear anyway so what we're going to do now is log on using my password So what you can see is we've now logged on. So what we will now do is we will close this window down, go back to our save waveform that we have already. So waveform, save as. Here we have all of the information on the screen. Um, our chassis number, our make, our model, generation, year, type of gearbox, engine code, what fuel it is, how many cylinders we have. Um, what we'll do is we'll populate here because it has a Bosch ECU. So we have the option of saving the folder to our local directory on our PC, or share, or save and share. So we're actually gonna go for the option of saving and sharing. So you will see We've called it Smart 4 2008. And here we have our normal menu where we have data file PS data. But you will notice that we have a little message here saying that the size of the waveform is 11 megabytes. So we can't actually save the whole folder. So we have an option here. We can either go save one or we can pick whichever number of buffers within the waveform we want to save. But today we'll just save the one. So we push save. So you will see that we have now got the folder saved and we're now gonna go back and search for this particular model. So again, we can go and we can type in smart. And it will then look for all the different names and models. Here we know it's a 4.2. So if we could remember the engine code, we could put that in. Or we could search by any of the drop-down menus. So what we're actually going to do 
Let's just have a quick look to see if we can find our waveform. So here we have the waveform that we've just saved earlier, which is this one. So what we can actually do is open the waveform, request for it to be removed, or edit it. If we haven't got enough information on this page and we want to add more, we can go in. So what we're going to do is actually open the waveform. And you'll see it's now loaded it to our PC. So if we close this window, we've got our original waveform. So we can do any of the normal things, zoom in, measure different points within the screen as we can with any of our standard software. This allows any user to download a waveform from our library to use it as a preset or to actually look and compare against their own readings. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you very much.